Reddit used to provide free access to its API. An API is a way to access a website's information. Many third-party developers used it to make third-party apps with improved user experiences. Users who hated Reddit's interface would use alternative third-party apps to browse Reddit content. That all came to an end last month when Reddit announced it would start charging apps to access its API. This is a very reasonable thing to do. Reddit isn't making any money from third-party apps which don't show Reddit's advertising the main way Reddit makes money. So users choosing to use third-party apps to access Reddit instead of the main platform stops Reddit from serving ads and making money. What's more, AI companies like ChatGPT's parent company, OpenAI, and other generative AI companies are scraping data from Reddit comments without paying Reddit. AI companies are benefiting greatly from Reddit's free buffet of conversational data while Reddit has had trouble making money. Reddit chose to fix this by starting to charge for its API. Unfortunately, Reddit's API pricing was too expensive, especially for third-party apps using Reddit's API like Bacon Reader, Narwhal, the Reddit is Fun app, and Apollo. Today, we will be focusing on what happened to one of Reddit's most popular third-party apps, Apollo, and its closure next month. Apollo is an iOS app that became an editor's choice app in 2021. The app is beloved by its 1.5 million strong monthly active users. Christian Selig, Apollo's developer, was shocked to find out Reddit's API pricing. Like his peers, his company couldn't afford it. In fact, the ex-Apple employee and donator of 100% of Apollo's proceeds to an animal shelter three years ago said he would have had to pay $20 million per year to keep using Reddit's API. Redditors and the internet were furious. They saw this as a way for Reddit to shut down third-party apps like Apollo protests and plans for a blackout across 1,000 subreddits were announced. Some of the subreddits had tens of millions of followers. The Reddit blackout would be held on the 12th of June for 48 hours. Within those 48 hours, users will not be able to see or read Reddit posts, the main reason people visit Reddit in the first place. This is very harmful to Reddit's parent company. Some Reddit moderators warned some subreddits might vanish after the blackouts if Reddit refuses to stop its predatory pricing for APIs. Apple actually supported the protest against Reddit indirectly by advertising Apollo on its Worldwide Developer Conference presentation for 2023. Also have some amazing widgets on my iPhone and through the magic of continuity, I can now access them all right here on my Mac. So I can see my Apollo for Reddit. Hi. Apollo was one of the apps featured on Apple's Vision Pro headset, the expensive one that costs over $3,000. In fact, Apollo's app was featured and mentioned several times at Apple's event. Apollo's developer, Christian Selleck, took to Reddit to explain what was happening. They needed to pay $12,000 for 50 million requests on Reddit. Since Apollo made 7 billion requests last month, that's $1.7 million per month that has to go to Reddit. Multiply that by 12 months per year and you get the $20 million Apollo has to pay to Reddit to access the Reddit API and stay alive. For context, API pricing should be cheaper. Apollo's developer said he pays $166 for 50 million requests for Imgur, an image sharing website. For context, Google Cloud charges $3 for every 1 million API calls. That's $150 per 50 million requests. Amazon Cloud services, also called AWS, prices HTTP API calls at $1 per 1 million API calls for the first 300 million requests per month. That's $50 for 50 million AWS API calls. Reddit's API pricing was just as predatory as Twitter's API pricing, which was $42,000 for 50 million tweets after Elon Musk's takeover. Christian Selig likened Reddit to a bouncer who one day decided to charge money to let their customer in. Reddit tried pushing back by saying Apollo's app was inefficient. They repeated that their API was 24 cents per 1,000 API calls, which equates to less than a dollar a month per user. Apollo needed 345 requests per user per day, which was more than other similar apps, like the Reddit is Fun app that needs 100 calls per user per day to function. Reddit complained about how inefficient Apollo is as an app and said the app's use of Reddit API 
free, which it's done for years now, was excessive. Monetization had to come someday. The problem here is Christian Selig can't afford to pay Reddit the $20 million it's asking for its API. Anyone can download the Apollo app from Apple's App Store and use it for free. Users can buy Apollo Pro that costs $5. You pay once and it unlocks most of the features. As for the higher tiers, there's the Apollo Ultra that's $12.99 per year. Roughly 10% of Apollo's users pay for the service. Asking for more money to get those API calls is impossible for the company, especially when Apollo, as an iOS app, still has to pay its 30% cut to Apple's App Store. The reason Apollo needs so many API calls is because it needs Reddit notifications. The Apollo app is constantly asking Reddit if there's anything new every 10 seconds or so. If a user only gets a message only once a week, Apollo still sends calls to Reddit roughly every 10 seconds for the whole week, just so that one message reaches its user. This means 99 0.99% of those API calls were wasted. Christian Selig, Apollo's owner, says it doesn't need to be this inefficient. Christian actually called Reddit to try to fix the situation. He recommended that Reddit could keep a port open to Apollo. Once a notification was ready, Apollo could send it to the user. This is a common service called the event-based API. However, Reddit has not given Apollo any access to do this. Reddit services were also buggy. Christian Selig complains how Reddit once returned over 500,000 requests per user within the first few seconds. There was no physical way Apollo could have used that much, so it had to be a bug. Christian sent his feedback to Reddit already, but nothing has changed. What's worse, the Reddit API pricing announcement caught Apollo's team by surprise. Sure, they knew Reddit was going to start charging, but the pricing for the APIs were too unfavorable and too abrupt. It's going to be hard to get more money to pay for Reddit's API access. According to Christian Selig, in his interview at Snazzy Labs, roughly 50,000 users have bought Apollo Ultra subscription that costs $12.99 per year. These 50,000 strong Apollo users won't have to pay Apollo any more money for another 11 months. This means Christian Selig won't be able to start charging Apollo users at least until April 2024 to pay Reddit. Those 50,000 users will cost a dollar every month to service them. That's $50,000 per month lost to Reddit. Reddit's new pricing API will come into effect within 30 days. So our Apollo has a 30-day time limit to make changes and come up with the money to pay for Reddit's API. 30 days is not enough time to gather millions of dollars for Reddit. Christian Selig wanted a transition period of 4-6 to six months without paying Reddit so he might be able to raise prices on Apollo. That $12.99 charge was based on the cost to run Apollo before Reddit's horrible API pricing announcement. July 1st will be a hard day for Apollo. No one is happy with Reddit's API changes. Owners of various subreddits on the main Reddit platform have said they are planning to go dark for five days to protest against Reddit's high API prices. So far, Reddit has responded to the protests and planned blackouts. Reddit released a statement saying it believes it's only asking for what's fair while announcing layoffs. Apollo's owner, Christian Selig, asked Reddit why Apollo wasn't included and Reddit's here. You can use our API for free if you help people use Reddit Bucket. It turns out what Reddit meant was Reddit apps like Bot that interacted with Reddit and were hosted on Reddit. Reddit's wording was clearly a PR move aimed to confuse the Reddit users it angered. There is no scenario where Apollo survives, and Apollo's owner knows this. Apollo plans to shut down on June 30th. Reddit shows no sign of wanting to really help at all. In Christian Selig's goodbye message on Reddit, he said Steve Huffman, Reddit's CEO, accused him of blackmailing Reddit. Christian received a message on Mastodon where a user asked him why he tried to blackmail Reddit for $10 million to stay quiet. Turns out, Reddit CEO accused Christian Selig of trying to blackmail Reddit. Thankfully, Apollo's founder recorded the call with Reddit CEO, so he has proof that the $10 million check to keep quiet and make things go away was a joke taken out of context. Uh, hey, I could make it really easy on you. If you think Apollo is costing you $20 million a year, you cut me a check for $10 million and we cannot both skip off into the sunset. Six months of use, we're good. That's mostly true. Six checked. months of use. Six months of use. So what, what no, you, well, I'm you saying, if, you, if you're I saying the... You said mostly a joke, but I, I want to take everything you're saying seriously, enough. just to make sure I'm not... What, what, what are you... I, I'm about? saying that if, if 
Apollo's opportunity cost currently is twenty million dollars yeah. uh, at the seven yeah. billion request and the API volume. Um, yeah. If that's your yearly opportunity cost for Apollo, yeah. cut that in half. Say for six months. Yeah. Bob's your uncle. But anyway, so you 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 cut out right at the end, right? And I'm not asking you to repeat yourself for the third time. But you legit cut out right at the no, end. No, no, no. If your opportunity cost is, is ten million, and then I lost you. So okay, no, no, sorry. One more time. Yeah, one more time. It was I was just saying if the opportunity cost for Apollo is currently twenty million a year, um, and that's a yearly, uh, apparently ongoing cost to you folks. If you want to rip that band aid off once, um, and get and uh, have Apollo uh, quiet down, um, you know, six months. Yeah. Beautiful deal. But again, this was mostly a joke. I'm I'm just saying that if the opportunity cost is that high, um, uh, you know, and if there's something that would make this easier on you guys that could happen too, yeah. but, but, um, I'm yeah. just saying as yeah. is, it's quite yeah, difficult. I hear you. And I, I, I understand that you're like, as an illustrative okay. example. Yeah. 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 It's just, um, you know, I, I, I think it's, you know, I, I don't want you would know what you mean by quiet down because I find that to be, I mean, you no, 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 sorry. I didn't mean that. I'd be very straightforward with you too. It feels like a threat. And like, I'm just like, Oh, interesting. Because, you know, one of the things that we're trying to do is to say, Hey, you have been, using our APIs free of cost for many, many years. And like, and we've been, we have absolutely sanctioned that you have not broken any rules. And now we're changing our perspective for what we are telling you. And I know you disagree with it, that, hey, we want to operate on a thing that is financially, uh, you know, footing. And so you know, hopefully you mean something completely different from what I said, but when you say like, go quietly, I just want to. What did you, what did you, how did you take that? Sorry, could you elaborate? Oh, like, cause, cause you were like, Hey, if you want us, if you want this to go away, like the, oh, the I said, if you want switch, Apollo so to, make, to go quiet, yeah. like in terms, like I would say it's quite loud in terms of oh, its API usage. Okay. Like got it's, it. it's got a very, it. sorry. I, that's a, com- that's a complete misinterpretation. Yeah. yeah. I, no, I, no, I, no, I, it's apologize, all good. I apologize. I apologize immediately. No, no, no. It's all good. Like I, because what I, what, you know, what we're hearing in some conversations is folks are, you know, like in, in other making threats and you're just like, hey, that's not a conversation that we want to have. So I, I immediately no. apologize. That, that's oh, no, no, it's all good. Mis- I'm sorry if it sounded like that. I was asking you to repeat it, but I thought I, I mis- misheard it. No, 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 so, no. Huh? I just meant, yeah, I'm a, um, I'm a noisy so API great, great. user. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, yeah. Great, great, um, no, like I, like I said, I want this to be constructive as much as possible and uh, uh, being, uh, yeah, that's, that would be the opposite. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, um, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you very much. Um, I'm here. Um, please email at any time um, and look forward to continuing to, to chat. Yeah, likewise. Um, yeah, just shoot me an email as well if you uh, if you folks okay. want to talk. I'm here. Great, thank, thank you. Okay, good luck with any additional calls. Okay. Take care. Bye. Thanks. I will leave a link in the description down below. Have a look at it. If any of you wants to support Apollo's owner, you can check out his next work, Pixel Pals, which is an app that gives you customizable widgets. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's much appreciated.